Yeah, hi. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you on how to create a fixed asset. To create the fixed asset, uh, you can uh, directly go to the AS01, which is uh, creating a fixed asset transaction code in SAP, or you can go to the accounting, financial accounting, fixed asset, asset, create, and this is a create this is called SAP path for creating any master data or transaction data so the end users should be familiar with this uh, all transactions or they can follow the path when you go to the AS01 the system will show asset classes so how many asset classes belongs to this company code if you would like to see then you can go and type a company code Either you can drop down, this is called a drop down list. You can press F4 button or you can click on this drop down list. Yeah. Now you can go so you can see all these asset class belongs to this company code 2800. It means the same asset class can be used by a different uh, company code if the same chart of depreciation is shared. Yeah. So here if you go to the asset class which is 3000 then I give my company code which is 2800 the number of assets for time being I don't change it I keep it as a 1 click enter so now this is a furniture and fittings furniture I should say furniture then here you can see you can enter the inventory number if the your organization is following any inventory numbers or you can enter later of that set was capitalized that depends on so the quantity you can enter as one or each or there's a there's a different quantity details here so you can choose based on the setup and here the inventory list and the capitalization on here if you really know while creating the asset when this asset going to be capitalized then you, you can enter the capitalization date so I would like to explain uh, more about here so if you see this is actually posting information so what the system will do here is if you enter here then while capitalizing while you are really posting then system automatically choose the capitalization date as this or else if you don't enter anything here so when you're really doing a first acquisition posting in the transaction so then this will be updated and from here then the this one also will be updated so both will be updated while you're doing transaction posting but you can manually enter also for every asset if you really know then here if you go to the time dependent data so you can enter what is the cost center for this so the same drop down and I know what is my cost center yes I press enter sorry so this cost center what I choose does not exist so I choose a different cost center so now this cost center exists so this furniture is belongs to my warehouse so I just cho choose the cost center belongs to the warehouse every asset must be maintained with the cost center except asset under construction so because the asset under construction is still is in, in in the in the in the construction stage you are not capitalized and no depreciation will be calculated and allocations yeah can you can uh, these allocations you can actually maintain the information of the evaluation groups like you want to further split to identify all assets belongs to a different uh, criteria so origin yeah you can enter if you know otherwise at the time of invoice posting the system automatically 
update the vendor from the vendor master data. So here, network, and um, yeah, so you can enter if you are following any network, network um, tax related information here. So insurance, so if this asset belongs to any insurance details, yeah, you can enter. So, so much information is available. It depends on how much you have at the invoice level. When you receive a physical invoice, you can enter all, all those information. So now depreciation. So I enter five years and ordinary depreciation start date for this asset. 01, 01, 20, 20, 01, 01, 20, 20. I enter same detail, 1, 20, 20. So after enter, click on save, you can see the asset 3000 is created. So now I go open a different screen and then go to AS03. So you can F4 here. So how many assets are there? So here for my 2800. So you can see my asset is here, 3000. So yeah, this is how um, you are created your fixed asset in SAP. So now in the next session, what I'm going to show you on how to create similar assets. What does it mean, the similar assets? So the next session, you are going to learn on how to create a similar assets. Thank you.